If you're looking for answers on what the tint effect in Premiere Pro does, how you can control it and how you can implement it in your own videos, you're in the right place. If you're looking for answers on who stole the Declaration of Independence, I haven't watched any of the movies. I cannot help you. What up? I love you. Tint is a very, very straightforward effect that has minimal parameters. Go to your effect panel, look up tint, grab it, throw it on the clip. Go to the effect control panel and you're gonna see three options. Your first option is gonna be map black to. Your second option is map white to. Your third option is amount to tint. Now that's it. Map black to is setting the black values of your video to whatever color you set it to. Map white does the same thing, but to the white value. So you have your, your absolute bright whites and you have your dark blacks and you're setting what those values should look like to effectively tint your video. It's not a color change because you're not changing the entire video, but you are, you really are. So what's happening when you change each color is you are changing the absolute black to the exact color that you select. Any color that falls on the spectrum will be adjusted from how far from black it is to how far from this new color you've selected is. And the same exact thing happens to white. So if you have an absolute white and you set it to black, then your absolute whites are going to turn black. If you flip both of them and you map black to white and map white to black, you get inversion. That makes perfect sense. It's just flipping 100% of the colors backwards. If you do normal and set it, all of your blacks are going to be a gradient of black and all of your whites are gonna be a gradient of white and you might go, then why isn't it normal? Why does it look like there's an effect on here? Well, it's because it's taking that black value and it's applying it to everything that's close enough to black and the white value to everything that's close enough to white and it's grayscaling it that way. Now that you're an expert at what tint does, what do you do with it? That's where my brain went first. Tint is one of the many paths to get to similar results. You can get more accurately to those results through tint. But unless your goal is, hey, I wanna get exactly this far from white and this far from black and do that way, you're not necessarily, in my opinion, gonna wanna use tint. So as the name states, you can tint your footage to another color from what it is. And you can do that by basically mapping your whites to that color and your blacks to that color, and then setting the amount to bring it down in tone. You can also go to tint and do this through Lumetri Color, but you're doing it slightly different. You're, you're more so adding over versus changing the footage itself, almost like an adjustment layer, but not truly. Or you can add a color mat above your clip to whatever color you want to tint it to and then turn the opacity down on that color map. So you can get the same effect three different ways right off the bat. There are more ways to get to that effect. So tint is one of the ways to do it. Again, if you want more control in the exact colors you're getting out of it, tint might be the better option. But if you want speed and you want to just apply the color and get it close enough, quick enough, that I would personally probably either go in the Lumetri color or throw the color mat above my clip and bring down the actual opacity of the color mat. But we're not here to say what tint could do in theory. We're here to say what you can do with tint. So one of the options that I like with tint is you can control an invert with a mask. So you can use your pen tool, draw this up, whatever shape you want it. You can copy just my head, you can grab just the top half, however you want your mask, and then flip black and white. So set white to black and black to white, you get an inversion on that clip. Why do you want that? Well, you can utilize this in a format of creating different patterns of inversion on your clips. It's very artistic, it's very abstract, but it's tint. Of course, the very normal thing to do with tint is to adjust your color. So you can throw tint on your clip, change your blacks and whites to a similar color that you want overlaid, set the amount to a low amount, and now you have a crisp tint over your entire clip. Another fun thing you can do with tint is you can actually keyframe your black and white selections so you can utilize this to have a color change effect over your clip. Now you can do this with the effects change color to or change color, but again, tint is versatile. You can do a few things a few different ways in Premiere and there's no right answer for however you're doing it, except in very specific applications. So for instance, if you wanna to fade to black and white, you can add your tint on your clip, you can keyframe the amount, set your black values to black and your white values to white, and then keyframe and change the amount that's applied to the clip. At the end of your keyframe, you will be in black and white. 
And you can also do this just specifically to whatever mask you want. So if you have a video side by side, or you just want to do an effect of a few different shapes that turn black and white, this is the way to apply that. If you use tint in a different way and you think I'm the biggest idiot in the world for saying that I don't necessarily see the one size fits all for tint, let me know, tell me. A fun way you can do that, instead of just leaving a comment, is you can join our new Discord. The link down in the description, everyone's welcome to join. You can come in, ask questions, help others in the community. We're just building out our little, our little squiddy box, you know, our squid crate. We're building, we're building a squid crate. It's a lonely life learning effects in Premiere Pro and then sitting in front of a camera by yourself to talk and explain what they do. But you know what? I'm doing it so you don't have to because I got a big old heart. Heart ain't up here. Heart down here. But it's big so it's probably up here too.